Acute pancreatitis and chronic pancreatitis are one of the most underrated diseases, mainly because the mortality rate is below 1%. But here is what you need to know. When pancreatitis is untreated or not diagnosed on time, there is a risk of severe complications like necrotizing pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer. This can push the mortality rate to 30 to 40%. That is why in this video we will be talking about the symptoms of chronic or acute pancreatitis that you need to watch out for, as well as the complications. I encourage you to sit tight and watch to the end because this video might save your life or the life of someone close to you. And do not forget to like and subscribe. Hi, if you are new to my channel, I am V, and welcome to the best health channel on YouTube where we talk about everything related to your health and well-being. Before we go on to the signs and symptoms, let's briefly explain what pancreatitis is, as well as the causes to those who don't know. Pancreatitis is an inflammation of the pancreas, a vital organ that sits behind your stomach and plays a crucial role in digestion and regulating your body's sugar levels. When the pancreas becomes inflamed, the enzymes that should only be active in the small intestine start attacking the pancreas itself. This can lead to a spectrum of symptoms, ranging from mild discomfort to severe, life-threatening complications. But what triggers this internal battle? Let's find out. The causes of pancreatitis can vary, painting a complex picture of risk factors. Some of the most common culprits include gallstones, which can block the flow of digestive enzymes, heavy alcohol use that toxically affects the pancreas, certain medications, and genetic predispositions. Additionally, abdominal surgery, smoking, and high levels of triglycerides in the blood can also play significant roles in the development of this condition. Now, we'll go into each symptom one by one, detailing their onset, sensations, and characteristics. Upper abdominal pain. The journey into the symptoms of pancreatitis begins with its most common herald, upper abdominal pain. Patients often describe this pain as a sudden, severe pain that radiates to the back. It can feel like a gripping or gnawing sensation that makes finding a comfortable position almost impossible. This pain may intensify after eating, especially meals high in fats. Next, we have nausea and vomiting. Following closely is the symptom of nausea and vomiting. It's not just your typical upset stomach. This nausea is persistent and can be accompanied by vomiting, offering little to no relief. It's a sign that your body is struggling to cope with the inflamed pancreas. And of course, fever. As the body's response to inflammation, fever can also make an appearance. Though it might seem mild, it's a signal from your body that an internal battle is ongoing. Rapid pulse is another sign of inflammation. Another red flag is a rapid pulse. As the body tries to fight the inflammation, you might notice your heart beating faster than usual, a symptom that should not be ignored. Jaundice, this is a hallmark of liver, gallbladder, and pancreas disease. If you have jaundice, just know that one or more of those is in serious trouble. Jaundice, characterized by the yellowing of the skin and eyes, can also occur. This happens when the bile duct becomes blocked, preventing bile from exiting the body and leading to a buildup of bilirubin. But let's talk about the signs and symptoms of jaundice in pancreatitis, as it can be different from the jaundice of the liver or gallbladder. Yellowing of the skin and the whites of the eyes, sclerae, dark urine due to excess bilirubin being excreted through the kidneys, pale stools as bile cannot reach the intestine to give stools their normal color, itching because bile products deposited in the skin may cause irritation. Jaundice associated with pancreatitis often indicates a severe or complicated course of the disease. It requires careful evaluation to determine the exact cause of the bile duct obstruction and appropriate treatment to relieve the obstruction and manage the pancreatitis. Treatment options may include endoscopic procedures like ERCP, endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, to remove blockages or surgery in more severe cases. The development of jaundice in a patient with pancreatitis is a significant clinical finding that can impact the prognosis and management strategy. It is crucial for healthcare professionals to monitor for signs of jaundice and other complications in patients with pancreatitis to ensure timely and effective treatment. Next is weight loss and malnutrition. As expected, at the beginning, I told you the pancreas has a role in digestion as it produces enzymes that digest and break down the three main food components, especially carbohydrate. Unexpected weight loss and malnutrition also is a signal of pancreatitis. Despite eating, your body might not be able to absorb all the nutrients it needs because it is not digested enough to be absorbed, leading to weight loss. Abdominal swelling. Swelling in the abdomen is another symptom to be aware of. This can be due to fluid accumulation as the body responds to the inflammation. Oily, smelly stools, this is also known as steatorrhea. 
Changes in bowel movements, particularly oily or smelly stools, this actually means that there are undigested fats in your stool and can indicate that your pancreas isn't functioning correctly. This is because the enzymes needed to break down fats are deficient. Difficulty breathing. In some cases, pancreatitis can lead to difficulty breathing. This can occur if the inflammation affects the chemicals in the blood, altering normal breathing patterns. If diabetes is not included, then it is not pancreatitis. Long-term inflammation of the pancreas can also lead to diabetes, specifically a type of diabetes called type 3C. This happens when the insulin-producing cells are damaged, leading to unregulated blood sugar levels, internal bleeding, and low blood pressure. In severe cases, pancreatitis can cause internal bleeding and low blood pressure, signs of complications that require immediate medical attention. And this leads us to the clinical findings in pancreatitis known as Cullen's and Turner's signs. Cullen's sign and Turner's sign are both physical findings that can be associated with severe acute pancreatitis, particularly when the inflammation or associated bleeding is extensive. They are considered ominous signs, indicating severe pancreatic disease and possibly other complications like pancreatic necrosis or hemorrhagic pancreatitis. Both signs are related to the spread of pancreatic enzymes and fluids, leading to discoloration of the skin in specific areas. Cullen's sign. Cullen's sign is characterized by the appearance of bluish or purplish discoloration around the umbilicus, belly button. This sign occurs due to the tracking of blood along the peritoneal planes from the inflamed pancreas to the subcutaneous tissue around the umbilicus. The discoloration is caused by hemoperitoneum, blood in the peritoneal cavity that is tracked from the site of pancreatic inflammation or rupture. The presence of Cullen's sign suggests intra-abdominal bleeding and is a grave sign indicating severe pancreatitis with a poor prognosis. Turner's sign. Turner's sign consists of bluish or greenish discoloration of the flanks, the side areas of the body between the last rib and the top of the hip. Like Cullen's sign, Turner's sign indicates severe acute pancreatitis with retroperitoneal or intra-abdominal bleeding. This discoloration occurs due to the seepage of blood-stained fluid along the facial planes to the skin of the flanks. The presence of Turner's sign is also associated with a more severe course of the disease and indicates a significant risk for complications. Both Cullen's and Turner's signs are relatively rare, and their presence indicates a severe and potentially life-threatening condition requiring immediate medical attention. These signs may not develop immediately but can appear several days after the onset of acute pancreatitis or abdominal trauma. Their identification is crucial for the clinical assessment of the patient, as they are indicative of significant underlying pathology and necessitate aggressive management and investigation to address the root cause and prevent further complications. With that, we can talk about what happens when pancreatitis is not diagnosed on time or treated on time, in other words, the complications of pancreatitis. Chronic pancreatitis is a long-standing inflammation of the pancreas that leads to permanent structural damage. This condition can cause a variety of complications due to the progressive loss of pancreatic function, fibrosis, and the formation of calcifications within the pancreas. Let's look at the top five complications. Pancreatic insufficiency. Pancreatic insufficiency occurs when the damaged pancreas can no longer produce enough digestive enzymes to properly digest fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. This deficiency leads to malabsorption and maldigestion, primarily because the enzyme-producing cells, acinar cells, are replaced by fibrous tissue. This leads to conditions like steatorrhea, fatty oily stools that are foul-smelling and may float due to fat malabsorption, weight loss and malnutrition due to the malabsorption of nutrients, vitamin deficiencies, particularly of the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K due to reduced fat digestion and absorption. Diabetes mellitus type 3C diabetes? Chronic pancreatitis can lead to the destruction of islet cells which produce insulin, resulting in impaired glucose control. This specific form of diabetes related to pancreatic disease is often referred to as type 3C diabetes. This can lead to many complications like hyperglycemia, high blood sugar levels due to insufficient insulin production, increased risk of diabetes complications, including neuropathy, retinopathy, and cardiovascular disease due to the complexity of managing diabetes in the context of pancreatic insufficiency. Pseudocysts development. Pseudocysts are fluid-filled sacs that form in the pancreas or surrounding tissues as a result of chronic inflammation. They are called pseudo because they lack an epithelial lining. These cysts form when pancreatic ducts are damaged or blocked, 
leading to the accumulation of pancreatic juices outside the pancreatic ductal system. They can lead to abdominal pain due to the pressure exerted by the growing cyst on nearby organs. Infection and rupture. Pseudocysts can become infected or rupture, leading to peritonitis, a potentially life-threatening condition. Obstruction. Large pseudocysts can obstruct the stomach or bile ducts, leading to vomiting, jaundice, or other complications. Pancreatic cancer. Long-standing inflammation and fibrosis in chronic pancreatitis can increase the risk of developing pancreatic cancer. The exact mechanism is not fully understood, but chronic inflammation is believed to lead to DNA damage in pancreatic cells, which can progress to cancer over time. Late diagnosis. Pancreatic cancer is often diagnosed at a late stage because its symptoms can be nonspecific and similar to those of pancreatitis. Poor prognosis. Pancreatic cancer has a low survival rate, making it one of the most lethal types of cancer. Watch my video on pancreatic cancer to learn more about it. Bile duct or duodenal obstruction. The inflammation and fibrosis of the pancreas can extend to nearby structures such as the bile duct or duodenum. When the fibrotic tissue compresses these ducts, it can lead to obstruction. Consequences may include jaundice, due to bile duct obstruction leading to the buildup of bilirubin, gastric outlet obstruction. If the duodenum is obstructed, it can lead to vomiting, weight loss, and malnutrition. Managing chronic pancreatitis involves treating the symptoms, managing complications, and addressing lifestyle factors, such as alcohol consumption and smoking, that can exacerbate the condition. Early diagnosis and management are crucial to prevent or mitigate these complications. In conclusion, chronic pancreatitis is a complex condition that significantly impacts the lives of those it affects. It not only challenges patients with its painful symptoms, but also poses the risk of serious complications, including pancreatic insufficiency, diabetes mellitus, pseudocysts, pancreatic cancer, and obstructions of the bile duct or duodenum. Understanding these complications and how they develop underscores the importance of early diagnosis, comprehensive management, and lifestyle modifications to manage the disease and improve quality of life. I hope this deep dive into the complications of chronic pancreatitis has been informative and enlightening. Living with or managing chronic pancreatitis requires ongoing care and vigilance, but with the right support and medical guidance, individuals can lead fulfilling lives. Thank you so much for watching and staying with us till the end. Your engagement and curiosity about health topics drive us to bring more insightful content your way. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like to let us know. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more updates and information on a wide range of health issues. Your support helps us grow and continue providing valuable content. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our future videos. Thank you once again for watching, and remember, taking care of your health is the first step towards a happy and fulfilling life.